Hi everyone, I hope you're all okay. Um, again, still missing you lots and lots. Um, today we're going to do some maths. So I thought we could start by warming our brains up with our counting. And I'm going to hold up the Numicon piece as we count. So um, for now we're just going to count to 10. So let's go. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, good. Okay, let's see if we can count to ten using our fingers this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Well done. Okay. Now we haven't got our number line, what we normally have, but let's try and count up to 20 this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20. Well done if you managed to do that. Okay, so what we're going to focus on today again is our number bonds to 10. So remember that is the the parts that work together, the two numbers that work together to make the number that is 10. Okay, so what we're going to do, play a little game. I'm going to hold up a Numicon piece and I want you to see if you know what it is and then tell me what to the pair is that would make that 10. And I'll give you a chance to do it without showing you the 10 Numicon, and then I'll add the 10 Numicon to it to see, to give you a clue, okay? So the first one I'm gonna hold up is this one. What's the Numicon? What number is it? How many to 10? I add 10. Hold it a bit closer. The number pair from five is five. Five and five make 10. Can you say that? Five and five make 10. Good, well done. All right, next one I'm gonna hold up is this piece of Numicon. What's this piece of Numicon and how many more is it to 10? What's the pair that goes with this? What's the number that goes with this to make 10? I get the 10. How many are left? Oh, silly Miss Ockley. Seven, that's right. Three and seven make 10. Three add seven equals 10. Good. Let's do another one. I have this one now. Oh, put that down. What's my Numicon piece now? What's this? What number's this? And how many more is it to 10? Let's add the 10. How many more is it to 10? One. So our number sentence would be one add nine makes 10. One add nine equals 10, well done. Okay, let's do this one now. What Numicon piece have I got now? How many more is it to 10? What goes with it to make 10? So the green Numicon is eight, the, the uh, purple Numicon, the light blue, I should say, Numicon is two. Eight and two is 10. Eight and two equals 10. So we'll do one more. What Numicon piece have I got now? What goes with it to make 10? I've got four. How many more to 10? Well done if you said six. Four add six makes 10. Four add six equals 10. 
fantastic well done everybody okay so i've got a little project for you to do now and it looks like this okay so what you're going to do is you're going to first draw around your hands if you've got some colored paper it's nice to do it with colored paper but don't mind if you haven't you're going to draw around both of your hands why are we drawing around both of our hands how many fingers have we got together 10 yeah that's right so you're going to draw around your hands and you're going to stick them on but what you need is the fingers free okay and we're going to use our fingers to work out your number pairs to 10 your number bonds to 10 okay so if i had one finger up let's put all the others down if i had one finger up how many more fingers need to go up till i get to 10 one and nine equals ten so i'd need to put nine fingers up okay and the idea is that you can use these fingers to help you answer the number bond questions so if i hold that like that you can see that i have gaps okay i've done i've done the first ones for you but i've done two add something makes ten Three adds something makes ten. So maybe if mummies or daddies are helping you, they could maybe write these for you and then see if you can use the fingers to help you fill in the gaps. Okay, I'll just hold it up there and mummies and daddies can pause it to help them if they need to. Okay, so that's going to be your project for you to do. See if you can use your fingers to help you with your number bonds to 10, your number pairs that make 10, okay? You might know them already, but it's lots of fun to be able to use the fingers, and we use our fingers for lots of different things for math, so it's good, good practice to start using them, and this is just a different way of doing it, okay? So I hope you get on with that okay. And if you've done any, feel free to show me, all right? Okay, see you soon, bye!